Hello everyone. We are the team Cyber Cipher and we are participating in Rajasthan Police Hackathon 1.0. We are the team from Chitkar University and we are the solving problem statement number eight, deep fake detection system. So let us introduce our all the team members. Hi, my name is Ankit Kumar Rai, current a third year student at Chitkar University, Punjab. So my role in this team is research about the topic uh, deep fake and uh, arranging the data set for, for our model training. And I also took part in model training of our algorithm. Hi, my name is Chetan Ganfal. I handle collecting data, improving it, setting up environments, and training models as well as connecting it to backend also. Thank you. Hi, my name is Harshata Batra. I am responsible for algorithm implementation, data pre-processing, and model training as well as project and team management. Hi, myself Vanchika. I am responsible for user interface design, front-end development. Thank you. So in order to find a solution, first of all, we have to understand how deep fakes are made. So they are made by something known as a GAN. There is a generative adversarial network. That is, two AI models compete in an adversarial environment. The generator, which is responsible for creating new improved images, and the discriminator, which is tasked to quickly reject the images if it feels they are not real. And this loop continues until the generator learns to create an image that fools the discriminator as well as fools the human eyes. So this is what we call an uh, artificial generated image. And it looks as a real image to the generator and as well as to the human eye. And when these artificial generated images are used to manipulate a larger audience, we call it a deep fake. So the solution uh, solution involves identifying these fakes and countering challenges like legal problems, misinformation, propaganda, fake news in politics, other privacy concerns, medical frauds, and etc. There are a lot of these. So there are a whole variety of deep fakes, and our aim is to work on a few that is space image deep fakes, space video deep fakes, train our models there, and deploy them on an integrated manner. So going on to a specific type of deepfake, the faces are altered to represent a person that doesn't exist or represent a real person at a wrong representation. For example, creating fake profiles on social media for political misinformation and propaganda. Uh, it may be used to alter elections and yeah, it's a big deal and it needs to be stopped. So how are we going to detect that? That's the main question. So we are going to exploit the very same rules with which GANs were made and uh, with which the deepfakes were made. That is finding an anomaly in the making of the deepfake itself. So the things we have noticed is a lot of face, uh, face deepfakes are, have fixed eyes overlay. That is, GANs most of the time place eyes on the same position in an image. Plus, the corners are not so well developed. Smooth texture is present at these face edges. And when it's hard to catch it with naked eyes, it is what happens on a pixel level. So, what we are going to do is, we are going to carefully collect and annotate a few basic outlines in a deep fake image and pass them side by side to a real image into a deep human neural network. That is how we are going to make. So this is the data set of face forensic, which I have received on request. I have mailed them and they have sent me the link from where I have downloaded the data set. So I have combined this data set with other data sets as well to train the model. For example, this is our train models result. And in the train sample videos, uh, here I had these videos. I'll show the video. This is our first video. At home on my Nintendo Switch or Xbox or PlayStation. But still it's like, I don't know, sometimes I play like one hour per, per week. And here is the code. First, a Python script is to convert the video to images frame. So the video I showed, these are the images frame which have been converted. So these are the frames which it has picked from the video. And then the second Python script is for converting, for cropping the face. This is with empty CNN this will crop the face from the extracted images and for the same video these are the set of images in which the face is cropped from those images so next i have trained the model which is specifically capturing the features from here 